What's going on? Travis here, TravisStetzel.com, coming to you Monday mentality time. Time to uh, bring you a good little message here. And uh, this one, I got the uh, initial idea from one of my athletes who sent me a message that he he got uh, that connected him to Seth Godin's blog. And if you don't know who Seth Godin is, dude is a badass uh, when it comes to marketing thinking outside the box. Uh, one of his books, I'm not sure of the name of it. I've read it a couple times, but it, it's The Purple Cow. Um, very, very good book. And, uh, you know, if you're an entrepreneur or, you know, somebody that's, you know, looking to get outside the box, blaze your own path, that is definitely a book that you want to check out. But uh, back to the message here. Uh, the message was about gradual, then sudden change. And uh, in the world that we live in today, everybody's about, you know, instant results and instant gratification. And, um, you know, we're so fast to uh, think. And uh, when it comes to people who are successful, when we look at them, so a uh, perfect example when it comes to, like, sports is, like, Michael Jordan. And so people might look at Michael Jordan and they're like, damn, he, he's the greatest basketball player that ever lived. And uh, people don't sometimes uh, don't realize, you know, the amount of work that it took to get there. Some people think that he just, you know, stepped on the basketball court and all of a sudden he is the best player, you know, in the whole world. And uh, that's definitely not the case. There was a lot of ups and downs um, over the course of his life to, you know, where suddenly he, you know, he's now recognized as one of the best basketball players ever. You can, that can be applied to, you know, a lot of uh, athletes that, you know, are considered one of the best of all time. Same thing with uh, business owners, uh, people who have become very successful um, with their businesses, have, you know, become millionaires, billionaires, whatever. Um, you know, people on the outside might look at them and they're like, damn, he, you know, overnight a millionaire or, you know, he struck his riches like real fast. And that is not the case. It's never the case unless you win the lottery or something like that. It takes freaking years of hard work, years of commitment and dedication and focusing in on the gradual process versus the sudden process, all right? Everybody's so fast to look at the sudden impact or the sudden results. And what those are is all of the gradual stuff that you've done, all right? So when you apply this to training, um, it's, it's about your end results. So um, when people, you know, email in and ask me, Travis, how'd you get so strong or, and I'm not even that strong, but uh, how'd you get to that level where, you know, you're doing muscle ups or whatever. And it's not like I got to the point where I'm doing, you know, muscle ups or a certain lift with a certain amount of weight overnight. It took a long time and you got to focus in on the gradual process of doing things. And the most important thing to, to focus in on in that regard within the gradual process is focusing in on the positive. So there's gonna be a lot of ups and downs, but you just gotta keep chipping away, chipping away, chipping away, hustling, grinding, that's what it's about. And then all of a sudden, you're gonna have those little breakthrough moments, all right? And it's all gonna be amounted, it's all gonna be due to the gradual process that you've been going to. So there's certain parts in, uh, in our lives when we hit that breaking point and boom, we, we accelerate with our results or we have a big breakthrough moment. In training, you might be stuck at some, some weight on your deadlift or your uh, bench press or whatever it might be, then all of a sudden, boom, 20 pound PR, boom, 30 pound PR, just came out of nowhere. And that's where that gradual process comes in. That's where it's so important and the key concept to focus in, in on here and the key message is not to focus in on the sudden process. All right, that's going to come and we can't focus in on that. What we need to focus in on is the gradual process. So when bad things happen, do we quit or do we fucking forge ahead, keep your head down and keep charging no matter what happens? That's the key to this, all right? You got to keep hustling, keep grinding, like I said, and you got to earn it. I've talked about this all the time, and in this sense, the message that uh, we got from Mr. Seth Godin uh, can't be more true, and you can apply that to pretty much everything, business, life, training, 
getting strong as hell, um, getting to the results that you want to get to. So um, drop your thoughts and comments on this. Focus in on the gradual process, and then all of a sudden, you'll like the results. So Travis, keep living aggressive, getting strong. I'm out.